today. It's Tony Fortunato. It's um, going to be an interesting little uh, quick tip for you. I've got a uh, Cisco access point I put on my network, and I don't know the IP address, and it's already deployed. Otherwise, I'd be plugging Wireshark into the Ethernet port, just turning it on and waiting for that access point to send out its gratuitous ARP and capture its IP address, as I've done in previous videos. So this time around, I'm going to go to my Cisco switch, and I'm going to see if I can figure it out uh, without needing to go get the box. So my switch is uh, this 10.55, 10.33. And this is my uh, little trick for the lab. Obviously, don't do this in production. My banner is telling me what the password is because sometimes I'm not in my lab for weeks, so it's always nice to know. And one way you think you could do this is to simply get the MAC address of the access point, which again, I'm not near it, so I don't know the MAC address. But if I did know the MAC address, I could do a show ARP or something and try to figure it out by looking at the CAM or the MAC table. Uh, I want to do it easier. So I know that's that access point has CDP, Cisco Discovery Protocol, enabled on it. So if I was to simply say show CDP neighbor, I can uh, try to find out if it's online. And there it is. It's Jerry. And there it is. It's that 1242 right there. So it is online. Now, I don't know the IP yet. So all I need to do now is simply add at the end of the neighbor NEI is detail. And if you were to do that, now all of a sudden it spits out more detail about that device. So there's Jerry. Oh, there's his IP, 192.168.1.2. Totally different subnet than what it should be. It should be on this 55. So now I can statically change my IP, go into that access point, reconfigure the IP address, and I'm good to go. So a little trick, little tip. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.